Ozempic and Wagovi, the weight loss drugs we've been hearing about for months now, may have another benefit for users. That's according to a recent study that found that the drug semaglutide, the active ingredient in both prescription drugs, was able to reduce symptoms of alcohol use disorder in users. The small study found that six participants, all of whom had alcohol use disorder, saw a significant decrease in those symptoms. And now the Center uh, for Health Sciences at OSU is doing a larger scale study to look at those effects. And I'm joined now by one of those involved in the study, Kyle Simmons. He is here with us, a professor of pharmacology and physiology at Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences and Dr. Tola T. Sarumi, an addiction psychiatrist at Mass General Brigham. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So, Thanks for having me. Yeah. So Kyle or, or Dr. Simmons, talk to me about this study and I'm so curious about the use for alcohol use uh, disorder. Yeah. So um, on the basis of preclinical research that was done in uh, rodents and monkeys and also a lot of anecdotal evidence from patients, uh, my colleague Jesse Richards and I wanted to look more closely at whether semaglutide um, might lead to reductions specifically in alcohol use disorder symptoms. So Jesse is a kind of an up and coming star in the world of obesity medicine, and he leads an obesity medicine clinic here in Tulsa. And so what the research team did was identify six patients in his uh, clinic uh, who screened positive for alcohol use disorder, and then uh, who subsequently received semaglutide as part of their, their treatment for obesity. And interestingly, after beginning treatment with semaglutide, um, all six patients exhibited marked reductions in their, in their AUD symptoms. Uh, so that's very interesting. It's it's uh, exciting. Uh, I think two things I would note about that. One was that the average time from intake to follow-up was only about five months. So the effects seemed to be fairly quick. Uh, and then the other was the doses, uh, it was the dose that was used. So uh, most of these patients were on fairly low doses of, of semaglutide. Uh, and that's important for um, for thinking about long-term treatment. Um, but I guess the one thing I would say is I would I, I, I want to acknowledge this is a small case study uh, and that what we really need now are the gold standard randomized placebo controlled double blind clinical trials to really tell us, is this medication safe and effective in in patients with AUD? And so that's what we're actually doing now here at, at OSU. And, and there's some other sites around the country that are doing that as well. Well, Dr. Tola, I mean, you work in addiction medicine. Talk to me a little bit about what, what this means. Is this an exciting development? Absolutely, because we're talking about literally the whole state of the mind of the individual. So we have patients who have alcohol use disorder. They are coming in. Um, we know that part of having alcohol use disorder can predispose you to diabetes. It can predispose you to high cholesterol, hypertension, and they're taking the medication. And in this, just like, you know, they're seeing in their study, we're seeing that also in the clinics as well, that they're taking the medication and there is significant improvement. And they're like, oh, I'm not drinking. I don't have the desire to drink anymore. This is really turning heads. We're excited because at the end of the day, yes, we have our FDA-approved medications. We're going to continue with that uh, while we continue to seek, you know, more randomized in clinical trials and studies for this. But we're seeing things that are help, helping patients, and they're living, you know, their life. They're more excited even to get around doing things. Family life is being restored here. So this is really exciting news for us. And you work in a lot of alternative therapies as well. So could you see using this as part of that program? Absolutely, because one of the things we're focusing is a holistic. We're looking at the whole individual, right? So we're not just addressing the mind, but we're also addressing the physical. A lot of our patients, when they have alcohol use disorder, um, yes, we, you know, again, it goes by individualized treatment and screening, um, seeing that they do qualify and meet the criteria for the treatment. And with that, we're seeing that we're able to actually enable them and help them even achieve the things that they want to do in their family being restored. Um, so for us, we're doing, you know, the wellness part of it, you know, of course, using the semaglutide with Govi uh, with that, with the treatment as well. And when we're looking into other vitamins and looking into that, nutraceuticals for that. So I'm really excited of where we are today. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Simmons, you know, six results or six people, patients, you know, is it enough to get high hopes? 
Uh, I think uh, I think it's important to contextualize that finding. So there uh, there's a really interesting set of preclinical data, uh, in like I said, in, in rodents and monkeys that suggest that uh, that you should see a reduction in alcohol consumption. There's a lot of anecdotal data. We now have these six, um, you know, this case series of six patients. But I want us to be really cautious uh, and realize that that's not the same thing as the, the gold standard clinical trials. And, uh, and that, you know, it's important to acknowledge that there are already three FDA approved medications for the treatment of alcohol use disorder and that patients should really um, probably not be going to their care provider at this point and saying, hey, I'd like to have, uh, you know, semaglutide, you know, Zimpic or Wegovy for my, my, uh, my alcohol drinking. Uh, there are other medications and behavioral treatments that we know are effective, but it is the findings of these so far are very encouraging. My other thought is we know that uh, uh, Ozempic and Wagovi and these weight loss injectables are also scarce now because of their, their popularity and they cost a lot of money. So if it is, does it, if it goes through, you know, the gold standard of testing and is proven as a effective drug, could that be a concern like access to it and, and um, the cost? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you know, there's, there's hope that over the coming couple of years that there's gonna be a big expansion mm -hmm. in the ability to produce uh, medications like semaglutide. They're complicated to make. Uh, and, um, and, and so the hope is that some of those supply side issues are going to kind of fade away, but, uh, but the cost is going to be a major issue, uh, and, and it's something that as, you know, the healthcare providers are going to have to have to reconcile with. Dr. Tola, I'm also thoughtful about um, when you're using a medication in order to treat uh, AUD, um, is that the last resort or in some cases is it the first resort? It depends on, you know, the different, we have like different levels of of um, alcohol use disorder, so is it moderate, is it mild, moderate, or severe? Mm -hmm. um, and so, of course, we start with lifestyle changes. We start with um, exercise, and we, t we start with, you know, just changing the whole lifestyle modification when we look at, but then if it becomes moderate, you know, that is a beginning to affect their um, career, it's affecting their family life, it's affecting everything, their health, you know, there is, you know, beginning to show, like, symptoms of other um, comorbidities that we see with that. We, we, need, we need to address it, you know. You can't just let the individual be continue there because they're asking, they're coming for help, they're crying for help. And a lot of times they, it's, it could be just a subtle thing that they will say. And so as part of our screen, we pay attention to that. No matter how subtle it is, we want, we want to address it. That's why you're here. You're not just driving all the way down to see me to say, oh, just to give me one thing. Or, no, you want me to help you. You want me to figure it out. So there is therapy. You know, these are proven effects. We have our FDA-approved medications that we we'll continue to use. And those were meant first line. And then, you know, because of the other comorbidities that are around with it, then we're like saying, oh, this is also something that you can use. And then they are able to say, well, uh, absolutely, this, these are the results I'm seeing. And, you know, for us in our, in our clinic, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a significant improvement. People are saying, I don't have the desire anymore. I don't have the desire to drink. I don't have the desire to smoke. You know, so it's, these are things that are very, very interesting. And you know, I'm really excited to see more um, data and research, you know, along the lines of this. So someone who maybe would take, a, you know, a drug that we have approved and Perhaps this will be one of them. Is that a is that would that be someone who has acute addiction or someone who's been struggling it for a while? Maybe tried other things and it didn't work. We will always start with the, of course, approved medications. Yeah, yeah. And so if it has not worked for them, and they meet the criteria for the semaglutide, absolutely, we'll put that on board and just see how they do with it. We already have patients who are doing great with that. So we're not telling them to stop their medications. They're continuing their medication. And so if we're addressing their either their um, diabetes or their high cholesterol or the co other, co other comorbidities leading to the metabolic syndromes that we're seeing with the medication, then we're able to continue with the medication and then actually see improvement on all these other areas that we're kind of targeting, mm -hmm. indirectly targeting. Well, we'll certainly yeah. have to see. I know everyone's going to be looking at the results of, of your study there, Dr. Simmons. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Tola, Dr. Simmons. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>